Hello everyone! I hope you still remember me. If you do, you are my people. If you don't, please allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Catherine. My channel is usually about handbag review, beauty, lifestyle, all the fun stuff. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I actually haven't uploaded any video, I think over a month now. And I just want to give you a quick update. If you want to skip this part, you know, I always put a timestamp, you can just follow through. So last month I went to see a doctor to just want to get uh, renew my eye prescription because I, my contact was running out. And I usually go to Costco to do my eye exam. But since nowadays I work from home, I just want to find some place that's really like very close to my house, like less than five minute drive, so I can just get it done and come back to work. So I just randomly Google one place I never been before. So I went in to want to do my eye exam. The whole process wasn't that pleasant. I think the doctor was annoying by me and he wasn't really happy as well. During the eye exam, he was like, I can't read your eyes. Your eyes were scratched and swollen. I can't really read your eyes. And you also know now we always we have to wear a mask when we do the eye exam. So when he tried to do change the lens to know my number, uh, I wear mask. So when I breathing in and out, the lens tend to get foggy. So he got really frustrated with me. He was like, "Can you stop breathing so much?" And I was just like, "Okay, I will try." After like 30, 40 minutes later, he was like, okay, I'm down. He's like, I can't read your eyes today. You just have to come back uh, one week later when your eyes condition is getting better. And when he was writing down the notes or chart, whatever, he mentioned that, have anyone ever tell you your nerve is very large? So I was like, mm, what does that mean? Not really, I never heard any one talk about my nerve so he was like okay i strongly suspect you have glaucoma and you are losing your side sight i think especially for my right eyes so i was like literally freak out so he was like oh i'm going to refer you to see a specialist but meanwhile you just need to be careful but anyway, long story short, after another checkup with another doctor, blah, 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 I do not have glaucoma, thank God. The reason I'm telling you, I know, you can't, you probably say, why you tell me this? The reason I'm telling you is, we always hear people say, your health is the most important thing for you. You need to take care of your body. You need to take care of your health. But you just listen, you don't really, Pull it in your brain, your mind, most of it because our lives so busy, we always have so much stuff going on. So this incident kind of gave me a reset button that I refixing my life. What is really important? What's really matter? And the day the doctor suspect I have glaucoma, I actually got a text from my Chanel SA that she received the mini rectangular with handle. I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel excitement. I didn't feel happy because all my mind was like, if I'm going to go blind, what this handbag means? So that's why I, start, I take a break to enjoy more quality time with my family. We went travel. That doesn't mean I don't like handbag. I still enjoy my handbag, but just that's not important. If it's sold out, it's sold out. If it's Discontinue is discontinued. It's nothing important. And I'm here. I want to let you know if you or your family have any health problem, like concern, physically or mentally, please feel free to DM me. I already know I'm not professional healthcare people. I'm not doctor, but I promise you, I will sincerely pray for you. Whoever suffer with healthy pro health problem, it's hard. It's really hard. The idea of I'm going to be a burden for my family, it's terrifying. So please don't think you are alone on whatever health problem you have. 
please feel free to comment down below or DM me. I will definitely pray for you. And that leads me to my first favorite product. It's the eye massager. So after my doctor told me that I don't have glaucoma, but I do need to take care of my eyes, like less screen time and less content. So I found this massager on Amazon. It's not the most expensive one, and it's also not the cheapest one. I just go with the review and I pick this one. This one has five different modes. Like you can do a heat only, or a fiber or a massager. And every session is 15 minutes, so you really just lay down and rest your eyes. And the good part is it comes with Bluetooth. So even when you lay down, you can uh, connect to your phone, listen to some YouTube, or uh, listen to some podcast or music. It's really, really good. And I can feel it's helped me relax before I go to bed as well. And the second thing is a beauty powder, it's a sunscreen. It's getting so hot and the sun is really heating up in Florida. And this one is an Elta MD, it's very, very popular. And I know most people use the one, it's only for the face, uh, also the tint moisturizer. But for me, I prefer this one is for the old body because that one is a little bit drier for my dry skin. This one is really easy to sprayed out and this is a broad spectrum so it's come so it's protect you from both uva or uvb so i really really recommend this product the next product is also a beauty product it's the snail honey jelly mask i know sound kind of a weird snail but <laughs> it's been very popular in asia country for the snail i don't really know all the detail or knowledge but i got this mask from amazon and it's really, really good. It's very moisturizer. Every, I use this before I go to bed. So the next day morning when I wake up, I can really see my skin is like full of water and my makeup go on very easily. The next product, uh, Monogram Mug. This is also a good recommendation for the Mother's Day gift guide. I always like Monogram Mug. Like, you can tell, I just like it. I got this one from Target a while ago. It's pretty inexpensive. It was like $5 and I found this one. This one is so pretty. It just has a little bit more detail and just make you feel like very nice design and I really like it. The only con for this mice is not microwavable. So don't put this in the microwave, it will be a disaster. I didn't do that, but I read a review. So I really super recommend this. You can find your initial or your mom's initial for the Mother's Day. The next product is definitely a splurge. There are two different kinds. One is the, the foaming one. One is the regular soapy one. So I use one for the dish and one for the hand. It just works so nicely. And what's the difference between this one first other brand? We got the other brand before, but after your hands left, sometimes it's dripping. But this one actually is pretty nice. Once your hands all, it doesn't really dripping on your counter. There's a one soap little icon and a three soap. So if you just want a little bit soapy, you do you go up. And if you want more soap, you can go all the way down and we'll give you more soap. My son loves this. This is definitely encourage him to wash him more often. So I really like it. I actually replace all our bathroom with this goodie. Next is my Louis Vuitton Reverse Monogram car holder. I know on my small leather good collection video, I actually said I'm going to sell this one soon because it's really tight. And yes, I still feel that because the canvas, so it's not really stretched, so it's very tight. And the reason it's my favorite for this two months is because my Chanel car holder has a peeling. I don't know if you can catch it on my on the camera, but the, this part, the later is peeling. So I decided to give it a break, then I start using this one and I just feel it's so worry free. It's so simple. I don't worry about any scratch or peeling later. And yes, it's tight. I just wish they have one more one more car slot. But it does the work, everything fit. 
And the last item is my Chanel Rectangular Mini. So I have this handbag for quite a while, I think three years now. I don't I don't often use it, it's usually my special occasion handbag. But I don't know why this year I actually reach to it more often and every time I take this out I just really really enjoy it and like it and it's a kaffir one so I don't really see much wear and tear yet it's called mini but it fits most of my daily essential more than enough so here are all my favorite in February and March I hope you enjoy this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to the channel I will see you next time